Just like nasty movement, this one can be a little harder to understand, but it is not that difficult. Photoperiodism and vernalization. Photoperiodism. Photoperiodism is actually the reason why there are some plants in the northern hemisphere and some that are in the southern hemisphere. That's because some require more light while others require less light to flower. So photoperiodism is the response of a plant to the seasonal change in day length. For example, a ragweed, which is a short day plant, it needs less light, will bloom in fall because it doesn't require that much light. While tulips, which are a long day plant, will bloom in spring when days are longer because they require a lot of light. In other words, whenever the plant flowers, that is their photoperiodism. If you rewatch it a couple of times, it will make more sense. Fertilization. Hope you understand photoperiodism by now, but if you don't, it's okay, just watch it later. Anyways, fertilization is so much easier to understand, even from its definition. It is basically a process by which the plant is made to flower early by exposing it to cold temperatures. Uh, this is a relatively new process that is human-made and the first research into it was done only 40 years ago. By naturally, which doesn't generally happen, or artificially exposing a plant to extremely cold temperatures, you're forcing it to flower early, and you can make more plants faster through this process. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to learn more about biology, click on one of these videos, or just hit the subscribe button.